Hey everybody, Jason here. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So uh, we're definitely having another decent green day up 1.6%, up 3, 3, 4,000 there, somewhere in there. Uh, we did put our spy put credit spread on this morning. So you can see we got filled at a whole four bucks a piece. That was as good a fill as we could get. Um, actually took a couple times to get those filled. So not a whole lot. But we put the uh, closing order in for a dollar and we got filled. So 8.13 we were filled. So it was less than an hour of play. Um, made 3% on our collateral and we're done with that for today. So real easy peasy. Um, yesterday I, I saw I have a bunch of comments that I did not get to. So I want to get to those right now. Let me jump over to that. So... Um, so with SPY, you're saying you put in a close order at a penny, but if the trade starts starts going south, you could close at 50% loss. Kind of confused when you are set when you said premium would double. So I'm if it goes south, I will put in an order to close at double the premium received. Maybe I said and maybe I potentially said it incorrectly at that time. So. Um, what I'm, what I'm saying is basically if that spy put credit spread that I opened this morning happened since I received $4, if it went against me and it cost $8 to close, $8 is where I would close it. So I'd have to cancel that dollar order, close at $8. So that is my, that's where I'm going to stop out of the play. That's where I'm going to, uh, mitigate any potential losses. So that's my max loss for me on that. Yes, I could potentially lose more, like if I didn't get filled at that price and I kept going down or something happened overnight where the spy dropped. But that's um, generally what I'm going to do there. So I'm going to either get that, get that dollar fill or if it goes against me, I will close at double the premium received. So receive $4, close at 8 um, the example yesterday or the day before that we closed them out, they were $8.50 received. I would close out if it cost me $17 to close. So it's just one of those two things. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, when prices drop, say Tesla, do you use a certain delta level or just gut feeling based on current dropped price? Meaning, do you go closer to the drop price delta or use the same delta width so it depends like everything depends on um on the price action why it dropped what the news is um there's a lot more factors than just gut um and it's something like a lot of people would look at a chart but i look at tesla so often every single day i don't need i don't need a chart in front of me to be able to determine that and I don't need a Delta. So what happens when prices drop for me, depending on what that reason is, typically I will sell closer to the money um, because most of the drops are in my mind unwarranted. So uh, like for example, the NHTSA investigation, which was a, a drop on the stock, but I know that's not going to be anything that affects the business going forward. So at that point I've seen a drop and I'm now more comfortable selling closer to the money. Um, I don't, I don't do anything like with a certain delta over and over and over again. I just don't do it. Um, I just do it based on price action uh, and news. And I use the same, um, yeah, not delta width, but the same same strike widths. I know that's that's completely different. If there's a sell-off in Tesla, what's your estimate as to how low it will go in the short term? My estimate is 747, 748. I think that's how low it could drop. And we might see that post earnings. Um, that's definitely potential. Um, every day I learn something. Glad I followed your channel. I'm glad you followed my channel and glad you could learn something. That's the only reason I do it. Hopefully... Hopefully some of my experience is helpful for somebody else. How far out do you usually sell the credit spreads? Just found the channel. 
That's funny. There was like, uh, when I first started it, there was another Diamond Hand. So either, well, I guess Diamond Hands should be a pretty popular name for people who are trading. <laughs> um, but I, I do remember that name before. Um, so I, ideally things would be opened up four to six weeks out. Um, if, if Tesla has a decent drop, depending on the reason, I will open it up shorter term, usually not less than two weeks. And I do roll my put credit spreads um, when they're a week out, uh, another two weeks. So I will basically close those expiring a week out and open up more with 21 days till expiration. Uh, great video, Jason. When you roll out the Tesla credit spreads a few weeks, um, then for some of them, you do two weeks or... Uh, or wait, okay, let's see. I need to stop laughing and read this. Okay, when you roll out Tesla credit spreads a few weeks, then for some of them, you do two weeks So I th uh, or so. Though I think other times you'll do four to six weeks out. Does it seem safe sometimes just to do two weeks anyways? And is that due to what's going on with Tesla news or volatility? Um, so there's, there's a big difference. There's like a difference between what I do and maybe the correct and definitely like sometimes the correct technically based on back tested things. Um, so there's, there's definitely going to be a difference there. So four to six weeks out is just going to be correct. It gives you enough extrinsic value. And by the way, um, if you if your mind is not wrapped around intrinsic and extrinsic value as it relates to options, search my videos, find one. There's an intrinsic versus extrinsic. We have some examples in there. And I think that should be pretty clear so you can understand a little bit. But um, four to six weeks when I'm less confident, but when I do see a drop and based on news, it gives me more confident in the near term. So more confidence, I'm going to, I'm going to play closer to the money and closer expirations, less confidence, or, you know, I just kind of don't know what's going to happen over the next few weeks. I'll play those further out. And what that does for us, if we're opening them up six weeks out, and let's say we have a major drop, um, that gives us plenty of time, plenty of extrinsic value in order to roll that out to where we think it's going to be safe. If it was in the near term. So one to two weeks out, something like that, if I open them and and Tesla really dumps down, which is possible, the stock moves um, and it happens to go in the money, then that, that does not leave any extrinsic value in order for me to roll it. So the value of the entire play is so little, there's not another place where I can roll out to uh, without paying without paying quite a bit. So go find that video if you can. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to grab the link for it if I can find it and post it, post it somewhere. Um, but that's the reason why. So there's not, an, and I don't have an ABC one, two, three, never have. I don't know that I, I will of exactly when I'm opening them, uh, where, and exactly like what Delta or anything. So um, hopefully it does help. So, but all those things do play into it. It's confidence level based on Tesla news, volatility, overall market conditions. Um, I missed the videos on the spy put credit spreads. I opened an iron condor on spy $7 wide expiring Friday, paying $10 on each side, 20% return in two days. Two days. If it plays out, not bad at all. I probably should have waited to open it one day before expiration next time. I mean, they're all, they're all fine. Um, people do zero days, one day, two day, three day, four day, five days. Like you'll, you'll find anything and everything there. They have tons of expiration. So a lot of people did, a lot of people do it. I don't see any problem with opening up like a three, three days. I'm just trying this one method out and going to stick for it for a while. That's it. So, um, so I think that is it. So that's, we got to all those. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, if anything didn't make sense, let me know and I will do my best to explain even better. Uh, and then of course we do on Saturday, we do some live stream stuff. So that's, 
that's always a little bit easier, kind of, at least we can have that back and forth a little bit. And let's go, let's see where we're at now. Same exact place. It's not updated. Oh, there we go, 4,400. All right, <clears throat> so very good day. All right, love you guys. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Let's make a lot of money.